Yes, the harvest season continues and we're investigating it in the cab with Pioneer. This week we're talking to Rod Crum, a grower outside Perrysville, Indiana with Sycamore Farms. Rod, thanks for talking with us this week. Thank you. If you would, tell us a little bit about Sycamore Farms. What all do you guys produce? We produce corn, soybeans, and grain sorghum. Rod, if you would, tell us the geography of Sycamore Farms. We farm in east, east central Illinois, and west central Indiana. A lot of ground to cover. Now, Rod, I understand in your neck of the woods, SCN, soybean cyst nematode, has been a growing concern. Is that an issue you've had to address on the operation? Yes, we have. We, we've had to change up some things of how we do things and had to incorporate uh, some different seed treatments into the mix. So you've incorporated some different seed treatments. Can you talk a little bit about what you're using today? What seems to be working? Uh, we're using Lumagen from Pioneer and it's it, we have had no non-existent issues with it in the past couple of years when, since we have switched to Lumagen. So now I understand, Rod, one of the things you're known for there around Perrysville is getting those soybeans in the ground early. Can you tell us a little bit about your thought process on those early beans? We try to push the bean planter as hard as we can in the month of April, try to get as many beans as we can in the ground to maximize our yield potential. Now, of course, across the eastern Corn Belt, that April weather can be cold. It can be a little wet. Rod, that Lumagen seed treatment, did that give you any extra confidence this year putting those beans in early? Yes, it did. We went through a cold snap there at the end of uh, April. The beans really came out of it. Uh, I, our percentage of loss due to uh, not coming up uh, was very minimal. Well, that's good to hear. Broadly speaking, how does the soybean harvest look across the farm this year? We've had a very, very good year. We were up over last year, and I didn't think that would be possible, but we are, our uh, farm average is up over last year. That is incredible, Rod. You mentioned some of the weather challenges you saw earlier this year. Would you have predicted that this would be such a strong year for soybean uh, harvest? It was no, I did not. I, I would tell you that I thought we would be if we got within five bushel of it, we would we would consider this year a success. All right, Rod. Well, we'll let you get back in that combine. Finish up harvest there on Sycamore Farms. Thank you so much for talking with us this week and letting us join you in the cab with Pioneer. Thank you.